Well, how are you today? Pretty good. Just got home from school. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. Um, are you actually physically going to school right now? Am I doing what? Are oh. you actually uh, physically going in now? Yeah, I'm teaching from my classroom, but my students are still meeting me on Zoom, but I just need more space for all my science stuff. So, um, yeah, originally I was going to teach from home, but then the school agreed to let me be in the classroom to get spread out. It's probably nice too to just, even though there's nobody there, to just be out the house. Yeah, oh, totally, yeah. So much better. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so today you will need um, just a weight that you can hold in one hand because we'll be doing like Turkish get-ups today. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a weight that you can hold in one hand, that's okay. Yeah, um, you can do the barbell. Yeah, dumbbell. One dumbbell works. Okay. We'll wait for to see five minutes or so to see if anybody else joins. Okay. I see a little bunny back there too. I know. So cute. She's so sweet. Jackie. What up, Jackie? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so today you will need Amy's joining us. Awesome. Let me wait for Amy to pop in the screen. Hey, Amy. So today, Jackie and Amy, you guys will need a weight that you can hold with one hand. We'll be doing Turkish get-ups. If you don't have a weight you can hold with one hand, that's okay. We'll just do technical stand-up. Everything will just be body weight only. But you can use anything, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a block, if you just want to have that energy in your hand. But um, if you don't have the weight, don't worry about it. Don't worry. There it is. So for those of you guys are in the group chat, um, you saw I had to cancel Saturday's class. That's because I had a really bad sore throat. And I was like, oh no, am I getting sick? <laughs> and I usually, if you guys have been taking my uh, Saturday class, you know I usually like to work with the training partner so I can demonstrate the moves with you guys. And I was like, let me just cancel and make sure that I don't have anything. Um, and I can actually demo that um, that guillotine. And it, like, it cleared up like two days ago. So I'm still gonna get, um, or actually cleared up yesterday. So I'm still gonna get like all the COVID tests and strep throat tests, make sure I'm good to go before I like actually do that class. Um, Cause you can tell I'm fine, <laughs> I'm okay. It was just like, I don't know. So I just wanna, with everything that's going on, just make sure that 
everybody stay safe and i provide you guys the bestest of qualities of training as possible under safe conditions um so sarah requested guillotines um for us to go over and today our workout is going to be based on one part of that one very important part of that which is i don't see sarah's screen yet okay sarah you will need one weight that you can hold with one hand we're going to do turkish get up today if you don't have a weight dumbbell kettlebell anything moderately heavy that's okay um, we can do uh, technical standards and things like that. But as you know, I'll just be chatting while you're getting your equipment in the background. So, very important part of the guillotine that you guys might not initially, initially think of as a beginner is creating a solid frame. That is foundation uh, one of the foundations of jiu-jitsu, other than just hip mobility, hip movement through shrimping and creating the dominant angle, uh, is also creating a frame. So when you think of side control, when you think of mount escape, you would not be able to shrimp unless you created a structure to prevent the house, the house being your opponent, that body fall falling on top of you, to keep them in place, right? So if you think of like, let me turn this, turn this screen around. I'm just gonna show you my doorway, right? So you see this doorway, it's kind of dark right now, right? So you see this doorway, this doorway has a frame. We would not be able to have a house if we didn't have these beams that support the ceiling and the wall, the building would completely just fall over, right? And we would be crushed underneath the weight of it. It's the same thing with, let's think, side control, something that a position you guys have all been in, I'm sure, like side control or mount, right? You had to do this, right? Create your structure. You have somebody on, on top of you, right? You have to create your structure here to keep them from being, from crushing you too much so you can actually move, right? So when I teach this class on guillotines, I'm gonna show you how you create a structure and how you create frames in order to create a submission. A choking submission right so very important because in a, your standard uh, guillotine if you're thinking about the guillotine from closed guard um, the person what what I find uh, difficult when I first started to try and execute the guillotine is you go for it and then all of a sudden the person's passing your guard and you're in side control or you end up mounted because uh, you're lacking a uh, understanding of how to create a, pop, a proper structure with your own body to keep them in place. All right. So I have a few questions for you guys. Okay. If a frame is creating a structure against, we'll say, opposing force, Michelle. You being the science person, you have to answer last, <laughs> right? So opposing force, if, if a person is uh, in jujitsu is um, kind of our common opposing force that we always get. If we don't have a person, what is a free form of a, a fo opposing force that we all experience always? Free form opposing force. Or opposing force that we always experience that's always free. We don't have to ask for it. It's just there. Anybody? What you got, Sarah? Uh, gravity. Yeah. There you go. It's gravity. All right. 
So we're always experiencing gravity. That's our free form of opposing force. So we can always use our body weight to create a structure, to practice creating structures, all right? So today we're going to, um, since we're all alone and, and the focus is just going to be creating frames, we're gonna practice uh, the Turkish getup or technical standup if you don't have uh, weights. The movement is very similar. Um, and I am going to break down the movement for you uh, in our workout today. Um, as normal, we're going to spend 45 seconds on each exercise, but each exercise will teach you um, how to practice, how to do a proper um, technical stand-up or proper um, Turkish get-up. So I am going to demo it. And then I'm gonna ha I'm gonna point to each one of you guys to do your Turkish get up before we actually go into our workout of the day, so nobody is confused when we get there. <laughs> like, let's get into the workout, and people are like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do this. Somebody help me, please. <laughs> All right, so let me. Cool. I got my angle good. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do um, several angles for you guys. We're gonna start off with this angle. The first one is gonna be where you're lying on your back. Let's switch the camera around actually. So we get a little bit of a wider, a little wider angle. Make sure you see as much as possible. With that little glare there. Yeah, okay, so first part is we're going to be lying on our back, right? We're going to roll to our side. Boom. I'm going to go elbow, roll to my hands, all the way up, and I'm seating on my hip. Good job, Amy. Right? From here, I'm going to balance on my opposite foot and my opposite hand. So I'm in the air. I'm going to pull my knee, tuck it in, and pull my knee behind my hands. I'm going to square up, which is face forward. And notice I'm on my toe back here. I'm not flat-footed. And then from here, I stand up. So I can bring my feet together. Get on like that. My hand goes to the floor. I pull my knee forward. And then I'm going to roll, elbow, shoulder, and then I'm on my back. Okay, that's the technical stand-up. The motion is very similar to the Turkish get-up. So if I'm going to do the Turkish get-up, the thing that changes is I'm going from this defensive position where I'm protecting my face, like I'm, what was it? We call this Batman, so I'm like, imagine you had a cape here and you're just like trying to cover your face like Batman, or you go chin strap, right? So you're protecting your jaw, or you're protecting your temple here, right? But you're always trying to see. You don't want to cover your eyes. You're always trying to see. So we're here. I'll demonstrate the technical stand-up first, if that's what you want to practice, other than the Turkish get up. So we're here. Typically, when we do the um, technical stand-up, you fall and then you come up, right? But let's practice this from our getting from our back first. So you're gonna roll, elbow, hand, and I'm seated on my hip. I call this position chilling at the beach, right? So I'm just sitting here, boom, one hip, just on that far hip, this hip, not that hip. Boom, here, chilling out the beach. I have my Batman position. I'm gonna balance on my foot and my hand, pull my knee behind my hand, square up, and then I stand up. Good job, y'all. Good. 
So I'm gonna go backwards. Let me see you do it, Sarah, since you're the last person I can see. There you go. So you got this right. Boom, boom. Yes. And if you're practicing for this for seconds, just be very mindful of this hand because this is gonna be, it's gotta have energy to it, right? Go ahead, Amy, let me see. Yes. Same thing, just your opposite hand. The one that's not working is gonna be ready for self-defense. Like we don't wanna have things that are not alive. Go ahead, Jackie, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just because I can't see the whole camera. So I, I'm, I think you're, yeah, that's better. So if you're gonna, if you're going, if you're getting up this way, Jackie, I want you to, I want you to continue facing in the same direction your toes are pointing. So you don't have to face the camera and then just keep going. If you're facing this way, just keep going this way. You don't have to go and face me after and Yeah, there you go. Just like that, perfect, All right? And Michelle, let me see. Yep, yep, good job. All right, so if we're gonna do this with the Turkish getup, the difference is you have weight above your head and you don't wanna drop it on your face. So it's very important that you keep punching that weight up to the sky. So you're not worried about Batmaning or chin strapping. You're just keeping that weight pushed up to the sky. Motion with your lower body is the same. So it's here. I'm going to have my weight, say my weight is on this side and I'm gonna bring it up to this arm. I'm gonna turn this myself this way. I'm going to, let me make sure you guys can see. My weight's over here, I'm gonna bring it up to this arm. I'm going to circle it over, and then I'm going to punch. Boom. This weight is always going to be, I'm looking at the weight, because it's, it's very important that I just, I don't let this weight, like, I'm trying not to let it wiggle any which way, because shoulder stability, keeping that shoulder locked in is key. Now, this is going to teach you how to circle. You have weight coming down on you. You can't go straight forward. Straight lines are optimal in jujitsu. When you have some a weight over you, it's easier to circle around it. So I'm gonna circle to my elbow, circle to my hand, and then I'm up. So I'm just gonna move myself towards you guys. Weight straight up, boom. Punching up, and then I have energy in this hand. Back up. Back down, hand to the ground, pull my knee forward, and then I'm gonna circle down. Circle, and then circle. When the weight comes down, I'm gonna bring my hand to the weight, and then I'm just gonna support the weight down by rolling into it. Did any of you guys want me to watch you guys do the Turkish get up so when we get into the workout, you feel safe? You good, uh, Sarah? Did you want me to watch you? You're good? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Amy, did you want me to watch you or are you good? Okay, cool. Uh, Jackie, do you want me to watch you or are you good? Is it the, the same just with your arm straight up or is there another? Yeah. No, nope, it's the same. It's just with your arms straight up. You have the weight right above your head. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Uh, Michelle, you good? All right, y'all. Okay, so let's get into the workout. I'm going to pull, pull up my timer. Some things I want to keep you, you to keep in mind 
when creating frames is that you don't create frames just with your arms. You create a frame with your whole body. All right? So wherever your hips are, it's going to give strength to your shoulder, which is going to give strength to your arm, which is going to create more stability in the frame that you create. Um, so if you find that, where is it? Okay, here it is. If you find that um, any of these things are difficult, slow it down and then notice the position of where are your hips. Come on, let's go back. Did I get out of this meeting? Okay, all right, cool. So first, we're, uh, first exercise is just what I call an ab roll up. So we're just focusing on that first part of the frame. So we're just gonna be here. 45 seconds, boom. You can stick to one side for um, half of the timer length, or you can switch off. You can come here, switch off, switch hands, boom, switch off, switch hands. That's all we're doing for the first, for the first exercise. Just add roll-ups for 45 seconds. We'll repeat that twice. Then we'll add in um, hip heists. So hip heist is a wrestling work, a wrestling move, um, and it's very, it's kind of like, what is that game we played with the circles? Twister, it's like Twister, right? So you're, uh, you're gonna replace opposite foot, the pants, so you'll be here in this kind of like running position, and then we'll just switch. Boom, boom, boom. 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 For 45 seconds. You guys got that? Or do you need me to watch you do it? Raise your hand if you do. Can you, sh can you show it one more time? Yeah. So as I move through the hip heights, I'm going to take my opposite foot, this foot, and I'm going to step into the same position as my opposite hand. So this foot is replacing this hand. So I'm gonna go here. And then my hand is gonna replace my opposite foot. So probably did this a lot when you were a kid and didn't know. <laughs> um, third exercise is, what is the third? Uh, third exercise is just the technical stand-up and Turkish get up. We just did that. Fourth exercise is, um, hello? Nope, nobody's at the door. Fourth exercise is a split squat. So you can do um, lunges. You can just do reverse lunges here. If you wanna be even more challenged, you can do a Bulgarian split squat if you have an elevated surface that you can work with. Um, so I'll put my foot on the surface and then we'll, we'll split squat from here. Boom. That would be your Bulgarian split, so split squat, any lunging motion. You just do forward lunges if you want to. I won't be a stickler. So any, any variation of lunge that you like, and then last exercise will be our side plank. Uh, if this is hard, you're gonna put your knee on the ground. If that's too easy, lift both legs up. If that's easy, bring one leg up high and just balance. And again, if you have an elevated surface, you will bring both your feet to that elevated surface and elevate your legs from here. All right, that will be our last exercise. All right, you guys ready? Any last, any last rights before we get to this workout? I mean, requests. <laughs> okay. Getting my timer ready. Starting in 14 seconds. 10. Nine, we're starting with ab roll-ups. Six, 
five, four, three, two, one, ab roll up. I'm doing five and then break. So the way I'm doing it is I'm just doing five and then I'm switching. So you can do any rhythm. Two, back to abolics. Great. We're going to do ab roll ups again, and then we're adding in our hip heights immediately after. Hip heights. Switch directions. to rest. Back to it. Hip Thank you. 
Great. So now we're adding the full Turkish get up. I'm gonna hit a pause here for everybody to do three left and right when we get to the full Turkish get up. So I'm gonna pause the time. So add roll ups. Hip Turkish get up. All right, so I'm pausing the time. We're all going to do three. Okay. Right, so we have the thing to our side. We're gonna roll up, just like we've been doing. Boom. Pull your knee behind your hand. Square up. Stand all the way up. Kneel down. Hand to the ground. Pull your knee forward. Roll back down. That's one. Back up. Pull your knee behind you, stand up, all the way up, back down, hand to the ground, pull your knee forward, roll back down. That's two, one more, roll up, pull your knee behind, kneel up, stand all the way up, back down, hand to the ground, pull your knee forward, Roll down, weight down, switch to the other side. Actually, let's do the other side on the next round. We'll do the other side on the next round. Give you guys a pause. Six, five, four, two, one. Back to the ab roll. -up. Just rolling up.
Okay, other side. Other side. We're doing three other side. Let me pause the time. Where's my timer? There it is. So we're gonna press the weight up. There you go. To your hand, pull your knee behind, up, stand up, down, hand to the ground, forward, roll down. One, punch up, knee behind, knee up, stand up, kneel down, hand to the ground, pull your knee forward, roll back. That's two. Last one, roll up. Pull your knee behind. Kneeling. Stand up. Knee to the ground. Hand to the ground. Knee forward. Roll back down. Control the weight down. All right, so now we're adding in our Bulgarian split squats. And I actually did 25 seconds per leg. So the timer will tell you when to switch and what leg you should be on. So you're gonna stay on the same side leg. Grab, roll up. One side. We're sticking to one side for three sets. Pausing the time. All right. Up, one, down, up, two, up, three. Split squats, whatever your favorite variation is. Mm -hmm. 
Split squats left. Right. Back to add roll ups. Two, one, go. So I want you guys to kind of know how you're you're moving in a circle here. So if you think of yourself moving in a circle, it's very similar to like when we do our ab roll-ups and we're moving circularly around a weight. It's so much easier to circle when you're bearing down on that weight versus like going straight. You'll find like you you'll find like a little, you're running into something a little bit. Technical stand up. I'm gonna pause the time. Three sides on the opposite side for a technical stand up. Keep that weight straight up, Vicky, uh, Jackie. I think you're holding the weight. How are you, what weight is that? Is that a, okay, that's cool. Uh, put the, just put the water bottle on the other side of your, your wrist, Jackie, behind your wrist. Yeah, like that, that's more accurate. And then punch your wrist straight so it's not bent. That's, yeah, that's more like a, how it would be. Where's my wrist? I think I missed this one, but you guys all got three, all right? Good job. Just straighten your, your wrist, a little, your elbow more, uh, Sarah, so it's not bent. Okay, shoot, let's go back. Keep on leaving me. And then we're going to go back to our split squats. Split squats left. Go. Squats right. Great. Okay. Last 
two rounds, we're adding the side plank. Ooh, you can do kettlebell. Kitty. Add roll-ups. Back to it. So, wherever you feel the weight heavy here, like notice it. If you feel like, oh snap, you're you're falling back. You're I'll, I'll talk to you more about that. You want to have like a lean, a lean to structure. And my butt is behind my head. Hip heights. Hip heights, hip heights. So I can go like this. The straight line is like, whoop. but if I think about like there's a point, if I'm going to switch this, but I'm actually going to circle around my hand. Circle around this hand. Circle around that hand. Circle around that hand. Right? Even though I'm replacing. Instead of going straight through. Technical stand up, other side. Pausing the time. All right, get ready for your split squats. Split squats left, go. Side plank, left. Left side plank. So we're up. And the key to this is really to pop your bottom hip as high as you can. If you're kind of sagging, you won't feel it as much in your, your Pop that bottom hip. Try to get that bottom hip to shoot up as high as it can. And one. All right. One more round. This is our last round. 
Abola. The key is to keep your arm as straight as possible. I really wanna, let me fix my thing. This is probably better for the crew. I get this camera out as much as possible. Okay, full technical stand up. Awesome. Last one. Start getting ready for your split squats. One squat left. Go. My plank left. Pop that hip. So if you guys notice how I say pop that hip, it's kind of probably hard to understand at this point. Side plank right. I want you to notice when you're doing your side plank, how you're using your whole body, your core, squeezing your butt forward to create the structure of planking on your side. It's not just your arm, it's your hip, it's your butt, it's your core. Everything's keeping you in alignment. And break. That's down, that's time. That's it for today. How do you guys feel? I felt great. 
What'd you say, Michelle? I said it felt great. Good. It's a little lighter than last week. It's so good. It's good. Like fluid motions. It's like I'm looking flu for fluidity too and just moving through, which that, so that was really nice. Nice. Cool. <laughs> how about you, Sarah? How you, how did you, uh, what did you feel about the workout? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Turkish <laughs> get-ups. Yeah. Uh, I have a weight that's uh, near sort of a maximum that I could do. So I did um, some of the things without the weight. and But I did the Turkish get-ups with the weight. So Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Good job. What about you, Jackie? I like that. I liked um, that second exercise. What do you What do you call that one? The hip heist where you're moving your hip around? Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. What were you going to say, Amy? Oh, uh, whoopsie. Not Amy. Oh, well. Well, hopefully she can come back. Yeah. Um, one thing that I wanted to explain when we're doing the ab roll up, <coughs> she probably had to leave, is this idea of a lean to structure, right? So sometimes when we're in guard, oh, perfect, cool. She's back. Huh. Hey, Amy, we lost you. How do you feel about the workout? <laughs> I'm sweaty and tired, so I, it was really good, yeah. Good. So we're just talking about, I'm glad you're back, because I was just going to talk about lean-to structures, particularly, well, in the, in the Turkish, all these motion movements were for the Turkish get-up, get but when we really broke it down for the ab roll-up, I want you guys, whenever you get back on the mat, to notice how if you're, if you're doing that butt scoot game and your head and your butt are in the same plane, see how it's a straight line, right? I want you guys to catch yourself if you're doing that because it is not efficient for you to be here. You want to have a lean to structure where my butt is behind my head and I'm here, right? One is you're protecting your feet. Typically I wouldn't be square because I can only move forward and backwards. I can't easily move side to side square. So I would prefer to be on my hip. Now I can go this way, I can go this way, and I can go forward and backwards. That makes sense. But I'm still gonna have this lean to structure. This is really important because if I have a big strong person trying to push me back, it's my butt that is the counterweight for me being pushed onto my back. Right? So Michelle, can you break to me that to us down how that works in science? <laughs> Right, this this idea of this lean to structure. Yeah, well, I know from other um, arts too that if you have like something at a forty five degree angle, it's a little bit stronger structure. It can't be collapsed either way; it can be flattened out or smooshed back. So, like a like a triangle forty five is is a stronger force. Yeah, it's a stronger angle because I'm meeting I'm meeting the for the opposing force. Uh, 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 um, at a in an angle where I can't get pushed back, I could potentially get smashed forward because the person will be above me. So one thing you'll have to worry about is like a little bit of snap down. People might snap your head down to get you to look up, and then they'll go for things that way. But at least you'll still have this leg at my at your chest, so you can't get fully pushed down. Right, you might get collapsed a little bit but you want to still use your head in the game so you have that structure so they're still here. And remember, we're talking about posture last week, so we don't want to be down, rounding. We want to find that horizon, look straight above it, and be here, right? So now I have my, my lean-to structure. I have my posture. Um, I have that 45-degree that, uh, angle that Michelle was talking about where I can actually meet opposing force with better strength. Make sense? We're gonna go over this more. Um, the gyms are going to be opening up. I can't really do, at Physique Magnifique, I won't be doing like contact jujitsu 
uh, classes, but I'll still be doing like this type of stuff in person um, at Physique Magnifique. Um, but I, uh, yeah, so, so there's, there's that, but I won't be, I won't be going into the gym until all my stuff gets cleared. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm here to answer your questions, um, either in our group chat or private DM, whatever you like. Um, I will be working on that guillotine program for you guys. I'm really excited because I love guillotines. As, uh, uh, I love chokes in pur period, <laughs> Sarah knows. So I love chokes, period. The guillotine from Closed Guard, is it my favorite? I actually prefer a guillotine from, uh, we call it a T guillotine, or uh, it's kind of like uh, an offset mount guillotine. That's my favorite favorite. But this guillotine will, I'll, I'll show you how it all comes together in our class. So it'll be fun. All right, until then, you guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks, Vaughn. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye.